Hi, beautiful. Face framing layers are here to slay and to stay for many years to come. Like they are the it girl. It is the sh I think it's very important to have in your look. It's also one of the easiest things you can do on your own to spice up your look. So let me show you today how to do it. Guys, I've been sick for like three weeks and I just can't understand what's wrong with me. I feel like I present as if I'm like slaying, but like I'm not. Everything hurts. That's really it. Everything hurts, um, but I look good. It's kind of all that matters, right? No, I want to feel better. Okay, let's do the haircut. All right. Um. <laughs> So here's what I mean when I say face framing, right? This, this, these vibes, basically pieces of hair that frame your damn face and aren't just cutting your entire face off, right? We want to open that face up. We want to show it off. We want to look so stunning and beautiful. And face framing is a great way of accentuating the really great parts of your face and making your face look more full, young, and youthful. Face framing can also outline your cheekbones, your jaw, everything you kind of want to outline and then decrease the forehead. I don't know. Most people want like a tiny forehead. So if that's your thing. Well, then this can help. So let's talk about what you'll need for today. You're going to need a head of hair. A lot of us got it. And if you don't grab a wig. Awesome. We're going to need a comb. Oh, actually, hold on. Hold on. Oh, yeah, there's an option for this one. My booty looked kind of fat when I walked away. Oh my God, what in the hell is that? You can use a brush, all right? A comb that is white that matches my outfit. I'm just kidding. Doesn't matter what color you use, just comb or a brush, all right? Comb is preferable. I know y'all don't always have the things that I want you to have. So we make it easy here on the Brad Mondo YouTube channel. We make things very easy. I forgot the other tools. Hold on, hold on. You're gonna need some clips. Anything will really do. Bobby pins, hair elastics will also work. Anything of this nature. And last but not least, and finally, and in conclusion, a pair of hair cutting shears. Order them from Amazon or any place. Walmart, I don't know, if you live in a different country, it's some other place that sells hair cutting shears. They come very inexpensively. It's just much easier this way. And if you really need to, fine. Just cut it with your f kitchen scissors. It'll make a cut, but it won't look great. And I won't be happy, but. Do you, now that I've yelled at you more than enough times today. <laughs> Let's grab my client. If you guys notice anything different right now, leave a comment. If you know it's different, you are a true one. Whoop, let's go right on up, baby. Okay, we're here. Hi, Miss Manny Quinn. You look damp. <clears throat> You're not your best look, babe. You have been known to slay anything. Maybe not everything. Anyways, you're getting face framing layers today, babes, because people want to know how to do it. You need to be the one to show them what it looks like. First step, make sure that hair is wet. I don't want to see any of you with your... You better wet your hair. You better wet your hair. Next, I'm going to spray my own Hydromania conditioning mist all around her hair so I can make sure that when I'm doing this haircut, it is as easy as possible to comb because combing is a big component in cutting hair. Right? Okay, I'm brushing your hair too hard. I'm too rough today. How's that? Is better? Okay. Well, let me know if it gets too rough again. You know, they always say, your mannequins take after you. It's the next step. We are now going to section the hair wherever we part. So she parts in the middle because I decided for her. Ooh, did we do it today? Did I do the center part correctly today? No, not today. That's like the worst center part I've ever seen. Actually, I've seen myself do a lot worse center parts. It's the one thing in my life that I just can't seem to get down. Come on. I did it. I did it. Maybe. It, no, I didn't do it. Did I do it? That's good enough for me. Should be good enough for you guys. Great. I hope you're following along well. We haven't done anything difficult yet. So if you are having a hard time, you should not proceed any further with cutting your hair. And I mean that. Next section. We are going to go from the apex of the head, which is the tallest point, which is where the comb touches the head if you lay it down flat, right? Oh, right there. Boom. Behind the ear. Boom, done. Doesn't need to be perfect, but needs to be good. And I am just gonna take the rest of this hair in the back and just go, just clip that shit up, you know? Just like, bang. And do the same thing on the other side. Super easy. Make it nice and neat, you know? People like neatness. It always just comes out better and it feels better and it feels righter, feels gooder in all the different ways, you know? Fabulous, do you see that? My clothes are coming off. Oh, I'm getting so like, huh, woo, you know, from doing all this with you. Okay, let me put my clothes back on my shoulder. Next up, we are gonna do the fun stuff, which is the cutting. We want to find where we want our shortest layer to sit. I recommend taking a small piece, a middle smally piece like that, right in the front of the head. Her layers are gonna start at her chin, okay? So she's gonna go 
boom. And that is her layer right there. It's a good length, I think. If you cut your layers at your chin, you're gonna get that very rounded look to your face. But if you cut it more at your cheekbone, you're gonna get more of that chiseled cheek moment. So they both have upsides and downsides. This side, this is gonna be a little bit longer and easier to kind of put back behind the ear, do anything you want with it. Below your cheek is gonna be a little bit more difficult to tuck back. You know, it's gonna be a little shorter. It's gonna, you know, be a little bit more severe. So depending on what the vibe is, you should go with that. If I do this any shorter, her face is like this big. She's gonna look wacky. I'm gonna keep it at her chin. And listen, you can always take more hair off later. You cannot put hair back. It takes a long ass time to grow back out. So just do a little at a time. Do a little Lipa, you know? I'm gonna just twist one side back. We're gonna work on this side first. So what we're doing now is we are taking little triangle pieces out. This is what I mean by a triangle piece. It is making a triangle right at the front of her head. It is boom, bang, boom. That's it. So we're pulling the hair perpendicular to that parting we just did. You see how this part goes this way? Our fingers are also gonna go the same way. And we're gonna pull the hair all the way across the head. Let me show you that a little bit differently. Let's get her head back up here, okay. So we're taking the hair, we are pulling it across the head, perpendicular to the part. You see that? Don't overcomplicate it, don't think about it too much. It is not that hard. And then we are going to find that short piece we already cut and we are gonna stop with our fingers right there. My short piece is right there. I don't know if you can see that very well. Ooh, there it is. And I am going to then cut the hair from behind because I'm trying to show you what to do, but it's not as easy as it is from the front, but I am cutting the hair. Okay, great, we cut the hair. Now we are gonna get that hair down. See how we are already getting that beautiful face framing effect. The hair is shorter up here and it gets longer down here. All right, do the same thing again. Pull the hair all the way across and do a little Chopperoonie. Gorgeous. Oh, fuck, she's so hot. Okay, now I'm gonna be taking one more section. I'm gonna be taking the, all the rest of the hair from that side. I'm only doing three sections here, okay? Depending on how thick your hair is, you might need to take more, but I'm just gonna do one more just to keep it easy and simple. It doesn't need to be that hard, and I'm gonna cut that again, all right? We're just doing the same thing over and over again, pulling the hair across the face and chop a -ing. Gorgeous. You see this? No, you don't see it? Okay, hold on. Hold oh, now you're getting that beautiful graduation from short shorter too long. And look at the front of her head. She is going to have some beautiful face trimming when her hair is dry. Oh my God. Don't ever complicate it is all I have to say. Take a few sections or more of your hair is very thick. Pull it all the way over to the opposite side. Oh, I missed a piece. See, sometimes mistakes happen. Pull it all the way over to the other side and chop. You should have some beautiful face trimming layers. Now let's do the other side to match it. Why are you falling down like this, miss? What? How does she get like that? <coughs> Girl, get up. Oh, there we go. You better get up off that floor and be a good hair model. Other side. Let's do it. You're doing fantastic, by the way. I can f tell that you are slay bootsing. Okay, we are gonna take a piece from the other side as well, and this is gonna create our guide. We have a small little piece right here from this side, and we are gonna cut the opposite side to match. Now, that's our guide, and let's take our first section, just like we did on the opposing side, cross it over the head, find our guide, and we cut. And it should match. See how this all is the same length on both sides? Great, and if it's not, stop. Now let's take our second section and do the same thing following our guide from the previous section. And our third, which is all the rest of the hair. Beautiful! You did that, I did that, we both just did that. And I hope you slayed it. So that is really all the cutting. Let's get our part back in there and um, let's see what else is going on. Now, obviously we did not cut the back of the hair. This is all about that face framing today, all right? So I'm not showing you the back haircut, but you could always leave the back how it is, have all your length back there, and then keep the front with the face framing. It's totally fine. What I would recommend doing if it's not already connected on the sides, this looks pretty good, but just doing a little trim to connect that face framing to the length of the back of the hair. Because sometimes you can get a little bit of disconnection there. I'm just gonna trim her ends up just like this and we will be done with the haircut it's that easy and you're slaying Okay, the haircut is done. Now we are on to a quick styling segment of the video. Don't go away, hold on. I always see the struggle of people blow drying their 
face framing layers and it never quite looks right. Maybe sometimes, but not a lot. Let me show you how to style these expertly cut face framing layers so that they look the best they can possibly look. We've got some tools. All right, the tools you'll need for this blow dry is just a blow dryer. I like to use a one inch ceramic round brush for this front area. And then sometimes I switch to the one and a fourth for the rest, but it's totally optional. A one incher for the fronter. Mm. It hits. Now I'm gonna spray in some force field heat shield because this shit will make your style last all day, all night, and throughout the week and protect your hair from heat damage as well as just make your hair so shiny and sexy like you'll see. And of course the classic, the one, the only Viper smoothing oil. Whoever owns this can tell you it is the sexiest oil you've ever fucking used in your life. We're gonna put that all throughout her ends just to make everything look super glossy and when it's blown out, just look super, super duper smooth and um, we'll be ready to blow dry. I like to section out the front area just like we did earlier like that. That. All right, and then we are going to start from the bottom and work our way up. This is our first section we're gonna blow dry. Now, the secret to getting this looking so cute around the face is to round brush your hair in a forward direction towards your face, just like this, okay? We're gonna get nice and hot on the hair. We're gonna really try and curl the ends of this hair towards the face, and you're gonna get that beautiful face framing. You'll see. Instead of just letting it go off the brush, we're gonna now just twist the hair down a couple times and let it sit in place and cool down. I'm gonna do the same thing all around her hairline until we are finished. Now I'm gonna do the second section the same exact way. However, I'm gonna leave a little piece out in the front like this because that will come last. All right, and now this last piece that I left out at the end, we're gonna do this one going back away from the face, all right? So the opposite direction. And now we run through with our hands. That is one side almost complete. It is setting in place, but I'm gonna finish the entire blowout and then I'll show you the finish and final result. And I will completely rake through this and give you so many satisfying shots of this new haircut on Miss are you ready to see the final results of Miss Manny Quinn's brand new face framing layered haircut? Here she is. Oh, whoa, she looks fabulous. Oh, look at that face framing. Look at that blowout. It looks so damn sexy. I'm obsessed. I hope your haircut on yourself came out just as good. And I hope you look ravishing. This haircut is very simple. And I hope, 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 hope you were able to complete it on your own. And if you weren't, it wasn't my fault. It was somebody else's. And if you do attempt this haircut, please, please, please record it for me and post it on YouTube. I would love to see it and I would love to react to it. Anyways, guys, that is all for today. If you want to shop any of the hair care products in today's video, you can do so with the link right down below or go to xmodohair.com. That is all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye.